Hello YouTube. We're doing some network testing here and I consider this site that we're at as ground zero for the inauguration. And as you can see, we got the barricades up for the event coming at the end of January. And they have the cell site zero for AT&T uh, up and running currently right now. So I wanted to come back over here and take a gander at it. There is a cell site for Verizon on the other side of this building down Madison Road, Northwest. So if you come into DC and you come into the inauguration, there should be another cell site on the opposite side. But I wanted to just compare my findings from about three months ago to now and see what type of network updates have they done. Let's see what we got. Oh, before I do that, let me show you where I am. So this is where the inauguration is gonna be sitting at. And I consider this site cell zero because this is what's going to be where everybody's going to be sitting at in the cold and in the middle of the day. Um, just off the mall, I did a, I did a site, I did a video showing this site, but this is going to be a little bit more of a follow up. But it's right there, directly in front of the Capitol, which is why the barricades are going up. So we got all three on deck, Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T. All right, so let's see what they're offering right now. Speed test. Speed test and speed test all right so before we hit it as you can see we are directly on top of the cell site this um i had a couple of viewers let me know that they, these special domes are meant for um kind of like a advanced version of a indoor das or outdoor das systems so um i thank you for the you uh the viewer that let me know what type of domes they are i couldn't pronounce it um but these things are massive like they they're they're, they're on steroids in comparison to like a just a dash system inside of a building so these things are huge hugely important for like the inauguration and huge crowd sizes so i want to say thank you to the viewer that inform me about that let's run this run and run all right so verizon is giving us oh we got in 261 we got in 41 and we got in 77 uh, AT&T is drastically improved from two months ago. So I'm gonna link my video from this location. I'm pretty much like within 500 feet, maybe 700 feet of the video that I did prior to this location. I just can't, you can't get behind the barricade now. Um, I was on the opposite side of the barricade when I did this video, did the previous video. So now, it's pretty much, uh, you can't go back there now. They're starting to uh, work on and do preparation. But as you can see, Verizon at 299 and 94 uh, up. T-Mobile 650 down and 74 up. And AT&T drastically improved at 302 down and 98 up. So that is a drastic improvement of just putting a cell site at the ground level 
of the inauguration grounds. So let's see what speed test has to offer. And Now let's see if we can get that N261 to trigger. All right, T-Mobile has come to the party. AT&T is showing up and Verizon is taking over the party. So 389 down, over, over 100 up for AT&T, T-Mobile at 859 down and 78 up, and Verizon with all the beans, as you can see, N261, 2.5 gigs down and 96 up. So they're all three seem to be ready for the party um, in the next couple weeks. So, We already know that we should be getting better network accessibility. But let's see what we got for video. Verizon's trying to show off. 820 for Verizon, 820 for T-Mobile, and 330 for AT&T. Now don't let it don't let this number fool you. This is a drastic improvement. The last time I was here, Verizon, uh, AT&T was pushing what like 150 megabits per second. So the cell site is giving them more capacity to be able to provide more service for more people that they're expecting to be on the mall. Now, let's see what we got as network accessibility. Can we get them all on the same server? Same server, please. Nope. All right, so we're gonna do it this way in New York. Let's do it one more time. Ooh, they're not gonna give it to me. All right, uno, dos, tres. Dramatic improvement for AT&T. Modest improvement for T-Mobile, so they are working on this area. I've been getting very bad calling being on the mall directly, so if they are improving, that's all well and good, as long as the improvements are to make the network better. But the mall area has been kind of bad for T-Mobile as of late, so whenever I come over here and I start off doing my Ubering, I normally hit the mall first, and I notice that my connectivity would be all over the place. So network speeds were up and down, really inconsistent, but from the looks of it, they are improving. So look at my previous video um, showing that if the, that the improvements are starting to show up. Verizon, drastic improvements. There was no millimeter wave over in this area. Now they must have it hanging off of their temporary tower that's located behind me. So that's probably one of the reasons why I'm starting to get it now. Um, right now they're, they're doing 360p and Verizon's already on the 720p. And AT&T's already done. All right, so 
407 down, 117 up for AT&T. Browsing and streaming, very good. Verizon, 3.2 gigs down, 165 up for Verizon. Browsing beyond good, streaming, very good. And T-Mobile, 892 down and 90 up. Uh, AT&T with the best latency of the of the three. So we're looking very good. Now, we need to download over the network. Now, uh, last time I came here, I think T-Mobile ran away with it. I gotta go back and look. But it's a new Tay, new test. PUBG. Install, install, install. All right, we're gonna be doing it over the networks. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna end up touching AT&T first and then uh, T-Mobile and then Verizon since Verizon's already showing gig download speeds so let's do it like this one two three all right three percent two percent one percent eighteen eight three thirty seven sixteen eight Millimeter wave is not kicking in yet. AT&T is, is blown away. 70, 26, 35. 86, 32, 62. It just kicked in. 100, 38, 81. 42, 100%, 43. So the millimeter wave kicked in at the last moment. It almost caught up with AT&T, but once you have connection to millimeter wave, you're golden. The problem is, is it takes some, it takes a little bit of time for it to finally kick in. Now, um, you could say that newer phones handle millimeter wave better, but I haven't seen millimeter wave do uh, perform as well unless you're direct line of sight. So they're they're managing what they have on location, but right now it's starting to still look good. And as you can see, T-Mobile still hasn't fully downloaded this uh, this file package just yet. So they're still going. But um, thank y'all for watching the video. Like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, is this a drastic improvement over the last time I came here about three months ago prior to the inauguration setup. So this is site zero, which I consider site zero because this is of the highest importance. The cell sites needed is gonna get overloaded due to the number of people that's gonna be at this location. But uh, thank y'all for watching and y'all have a good one.